How's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video I'm going to show you how to install RetroArch. So if you don't know what RetroArch is, it's a pretty useful tool that I use sometimes that can emulate basically anything. So as long as you download the right components for it, you can emulate anything from the old Commodore 64 to the Nintendo Entertainment System. It can emulate any game. It can even emulate Wii games and some Wii U games if you do it right. But uh, if you've ever used like RetroPie or uh, Laka on the Raspberry Pi, it uses RetroArch. So a lot of projects out there use the software. It turns out it's available on Linux and you can use it. So if you want to install it, there are multiple different ways. There's just through the traditional software sources, and I cover that in my post that I wrote. But uh, you can also install it from the Flatpak repository. And we'll be covering the Flatpak version in this video just because there's a Flatpak release of it. And anyone can run Flatpak. It doesn't matter if you're using Ubuntu or Fedora like I use or whatever. It's it's in that. So to get it, to start off, you need to do Flatpak search RetroArch. Now this is going to search through. And as you can see, it's on Flathub. The version is 1.6. And the package name is right here. So now I can do sudo Flatpak install name of the package, dash y, just to confirm, so I don't have to do it ahead of time. And it's going to look for the stuff that it needs, and the stuff that it needs is this uh, Wayland stuff and the device access packages, two different things, and uh, they take a long time to download, so I will be right back. All right, so the download and the installation is complete, so I can open up my application menu, search for RetroArch, and open it up. And from there I can use it. And let me start up a game. And that's how you install RetroArch. For more information, please check the link in the description. My name is Derek and I will see you in the next video.